This is Mark Karadimos from MathGuide.com. Today we're going to take a look at work problems and how to solve them. Uh, I've got a problem right up here that we're going to take a look at. Uh, if we have two people working on a project, sometimes it's uh, important for a supervisor to know how to gauge how much time it's going to take those two people to complete a job. All right, let's say we have uh, Bobby here. Uh, Bobby can complete a job. As a matter of fact, this is a painting job in five hours. Juan can do the same job in six hours. All right, so this is if they were to work independently on these projects. Uh, what we want to do is figure out how much time it's going to take if these two people work together. All right, so in order to uh, complete this word problem, we're going to use uh, this table. So right down here we have a table, and it's been divided up uh, into columns. Uh, and uh, let's first start by putting in some things in this table. Uh, like, for instance, since we're talking about Bobby, I'm going to put B for Bobby. I'm going to put a J for one. Okay, so that's going to indicate those rows there. Uh, now, here's a, a, a kind of an important uh, part of this problem is understanding what their rate is. How fast are these people working? So if Bobby is going to be doing this job and it takes her five hours to complete the job all by herself, how much of the work does she finish in an hour's worth of time? Well, it turns out if you take five hours to complete a job, every hour you're working on that job, you are going to be completing one-fifth of the job. Think about it. That does make sense, right? If you were to add one-fifth plus one-fifth plus one-fifth and so on, all of these fifths, right? It's going to take her five hours to do the job. If you were to add up all these fifths, that would be equal to five-fifths, or in other words, one complete job. Okay, so it does make sense to assume that it, every hour it takes her one-fifth uh, you know, take, she does one-fifth of the job in that amount of time. All right, so likewise, for the same reason, if it takes uh, Juan six hours to complete the job, he's going to need six hours to complete the job, or in other words, he's going to complete one-sixth of the job every hour, right? A sixth of a sixth of a sixth. In other words, adding up those six-sixths, you'll get one job done. All right, well, if you can get past that, and of course you could always view this lesson on MathGuide. It says more about that particular process. The rest should be pretty easy for you. Uh, how much time does it take for them to work on it? We don't know. We have no idea how much time it's going to take. And since they're both working on the job, they start and finish the job at the same time, we're going to use X, or the same variable. A lot of people like to use T. Eh, I'm just used to using X. All right, so uh, how do we calculate how much work they're going to do? Well, this is kind of like a distance rate and time problem. If you multiply rate times time, you will get the work done. Or the if you think of it like distance, it's a work done. Uh, so in other words, rate times time is equal to the amount of work done. So we multiply across is basically what I'm saying here. And that's what I'm going to do. For both of these cases, I'm going to multiply across the table. All right, so what do I get for the first, uh, this last column, the first row? I'm going to get one-fifth x. Likewise, I'm going to get one-sixth x right here. Okay, so there's really no need for us to talk about a total right now, um, except we know that the total job, the total job is going to take um, how much time? Well, it's still going to be X, but how much work are they going to complete total? They're going to complete one job total, right? One job is what they're working on. All right, so it turns out that this is a fairly simple problem. There's only going to be one letter or one variable and one equation. And this last column gives us the equation. We know that if Bobby works and she does one-fifth X, work per hour. Um, actually, I'm sorry, that's how much work she does total. If we know that uh, Juan does one-sixth X work total, and we know that we want to complete one job together, well, together means they're working together to complete one job total. All right, 
So it turns out now that we have this. We have this equation, and what we're going to do is solve the equation. In order to solve this equation, you have to scale up these fractions to get a common denominator. Uh, if you already can guess, I'm going to multiply. Uh, I, get, I need thirtieths here, so I need to multiply this guy by six sixths. I'm going to multiply this guy by five fifths. Now, if you uh, look at this problem, you'll see why I'm doing that. I'm going to get six thirtieths, right? I'm going to get six thirtieths x. And over here, I'm going to get 5 thirtieths x. You can't combine these fractions unless you have a common denominator. So that's why I scaled them up, multiplying this one by sixths, six sixths, that is, and this one by fifths, five fifths. So I multiplied, and now I get a common denominator. And that's how I can add fractions, only when I have this common denominator. So let's see, I've got 6 thirtieths plus 5 thirtieths, that is 11 thirtieths equals 1. All right, now in order for us to get rid of 11 thirtieths, right, to, uh, you know, in other, in other words, to cancel it or to somehow find a way to get rid of that, we multiply by its reciprocal, right? So I'm going to multiply both sides by 30 elevenths, 30 Elevenths. You can see the elevens are going to cancel, the thirtieths are going to cancel, everything over here cancels, just giving us x alone. Okay, so we get x alone over here, and I'm going to get thirty elevenths on this side. All right, now if you use the calculator, which uh, I did earlier, it's approximately equal to. 2.72. Or in other words, that means I've got two hours, oh, right over here. So it turns out x is two hours. And uh, let's see, that 0.72, if I want to figure out how much time that is, right? It's almost three quarters of an hour, right? 0.75 would be three quarters. So that's almost 45 minutes. But uh, if you take 0.72 times 60 minutes, you will get 43 minutes, or very, very close to 43 minutes. Not exactly, but that's just to the nearest minute. All right, so that's how much time it's going to take Bobby and Juan if they work together on this job, and they both start and finish at the same exact time. Okay, so if you'd like to see more lessons, uh, go to mathguide.com. Check out our interactive quizzes and all our activities. Take care.